Good morning. My name is Tony Schneider. I'm CEO of Automatic. And I'd like to spend the next 10 minutes um, telling you about the trends we see going on in the world of blogging and independent publishing. But first, I'd like to introduce ourselves. Automatic is a five-year-old company. We have 72 people. We're headquartered in San Francisco, but we're actually distributed. We're spread all over the world. We're a very international group. We currently have people working from 18 different countries. Our mission is to make online publishing accessible to everyone in the world. And we attempt to do this with a series of products that we've developed. Uh, these products make it easy for you to publish content on the web, to build an audience for that content, to engage that audience, and to protect your content from spammers and broken hard drives and other nuisances. We're also big believers in open source as a company. We spend 20% of our time and budget contributing to open source projects, the best known of which is WordPress. WordPress is an online publishing platform. It makes it easy for you to create a great website without having to write any code. And WordPress comes in two flavors. There's WordPress.org, which is the open source software package that is separate from our company. And there's WordPress.com, which is WordPress as a service. It's a hosted version of WordPress that we own and operate. Now, WordPress has been on a roll for the last few years. This is a chart that shows the total number of active WordPress sites in the world. You can see there's over 30 million right now, and growth is accelerating. There's over a million new WordPress sites created every month. About half of these sites are people hosting WordPress themselves using the open source package. The other half, about 15 million, are sites that we host on WordPress.com. The sites that we host attract an audience of about a quarter billion people every month. So it's one of the largest audiences on the internet, and that's just half of WordPress. Another stat we like is that about 8.5% of all the sites on the internet are powered by WordPress these days. So WordPress is very big. It's becoming a very significant component of the publishing layer of the internet. And what I'd like to take you through is four key trends that we see within the WordPress ecosystem. The first trend we see is that WordPress is clearly known as a blogging platform. It's uh, a very large blogging platform, probably the biggest one in the world at this point. But what we see is more and more people using WordPress to create websites, not just blogs. And also, really, blogs and websites are kind of starting to look alike. And uh, the best way to illustrate this, I thought, is to just show you some screenshots of recent sites. So GigaOM is a good example because Ohm Malik was one of the very early adopters of WordPress. It was a personal blog. Then it became a company, and it recently relaunched, and it's now really a media site. It has an editorially programmed content on the front page. It's got lots of writers. It has a paid subscription layer. All of this is powered by WordPress and has evolved from being a blog to a full-blown site. Wired.com one of the first media sites that was 100% uh, powered by WordPress. Here's a site for a college, and you know, as doesn't look like a blog at all. Um, a site for an actress, um, and I just picked some of these off of the WordPress.org showcase. Those are, these are recent sites um, that have been featured there. This is a site for a web hosting company, um, site for a music startup. All of these are powered by WordPress, and I. Couldn't resist putting this one in. Uh, it's a site for a cigar. Um, and what's interesting about this trend is, is two things to me. One is that blogs and websites are starting to look similar. But also, as more and more big companies are using WordPress to create entire websites, I think WordPress is in an interesting position to disrupt the enterprise CMS market over the next few years. Uh, the next trend I wanted to talk about is this movement from search engine optimization to so social media optimization. So for many years, really since the beginning of blogging, the undisputed king of sending traffic to blogs has been Google. And this whole industry of search engine optimization has come from this. For the first time ever, we're seeing somebody challenge that position. And we're seeing some interesting trends. Uh, when we look at WordPress.com across all of the blogs we host, um, the 
ratio of traffic coming from social networks to people's blogs versus search coming to people's blogs has gone from 3% two years ago to 15% today. So it's grown five times. And Google is sending an increasing amount of traffic to bloggers. It's just that social networks are growing faster and sending more traffic more quickly. Uh, some sites like GigaOM, again, as an example, um, are even ahead of this curve. They see 30% of their content coming just from Twitter alone, I mean, f of their referrals. And then an example from outside of WordPress, a site called Bandcamp, uh, they host musicians and bands and host their music. And they saw last month that Facebook, for the first time, became the number one referrer to their band's websites. They passed Google as being number one. So very interesting trend because you're starting to see um, somebody challenge the, the dominance of Google there. Uh, the third trend I want to touch on, and I have a picture for this, um, a, a stat for this as well, is mobile publishing. And this relates to what Brian was just talking about. So this is a graph that shows uh, the top line is people using a web browser to publish content to WordPress. And you can see it's growing very steadily, very evenly over the years. And the bottom line is people using mobile devices to publish content. There's two things that are interesting about this. One is if this continues, in a year or two, these lines will cross, and people will create more content from their mobile device than their web browser. The other thing that's interesting is that the top line is staying steady. So this is additional new content that's coming in from mobile devices. It's not that people are stopping to use their web browsers. The final trend I'd like to talk about, and this goes to the uh, title of my talk, is what I'm calling point of control U. And, um, when we go back to WordPress users, especially the most engaged and passionate WordPress users, and we ask them, what do you love about this software? Why do you like using it so much? We get back a variety of answers, but there's an underlying theme. What people like the most is that WordPress puts them in complete control over their online presence. What this means to people is slightly different things. Some people, a lot of people, really want to have complete control over what their site, and in some ways themselves or their companies, look like online. They want to have control over where their content goes. They don't want to give it to somebody else. They want to decide if they have ads or not. And for a lot of people, this moves into the space of online reputation and privacy. And the trend we see is that people want to have more control over this. Now, to find out what's really enabling this, I think we have to go one level deeper. I have, we, what's really empowering people to be in control of all of this is to have your own domain. And I realize this is a somewhat old-fashioned thing to say, but if you want to become your own point of control on the internet, the best way to do that is still to get a domain and create your own website. It is the difference between being a name on somebody else's domain versus having your own. And I don't want to pick on Facebook here. You can put Twitter there, or Google, or Yahoo, or WordPress for that matter. Anybody who wants to own or control your online identity would love for you to do that on their domain. Because that gives them a single point of control versus 124 million points of control, which happens to be the number of active domains on the internet. Now, the trend we believe in is that over time, People want more control rather than less control. As we put more and more, especially of our personal things on the internet, we're going to want to do more of this. And we believe that this is fundamentally what's driving the growth of a platform like WordPress. We also see this in our stats. Um, this is a graph. We sell domains on WordPress.com. This is a graph of our domain sales. And domains are the best-selling and fastest-growing upgrade that we sell in our system. Now, the final thought I would like to leave you with is that when it comes to online identity, I actually think it's very much early days. I think the solution that people really want, nobody's offering right now. I think what we want is we want both the independence we get from controlling our own site and our own identity, but we also want the connection we get from being part of a social network. I think the next generation of online identity solutions will be offering both of these things together. Thank you.